I should have put you somewhere with no defiance. Mansion out in sticks with nothing around you. Katy, Texas, Dallas, Texas, you know I'm different environment. Cause you had desires. Hey y'all, it's me, Slay by Jordan. We are working with Asteria hair today. Let's get into it. They sent me this 28 inch body weight, 13 by four HD lace, 250% density weave. It comes pre-curl, pre-bleach, and pre-plug. Let's get straight into it. Right now, I'm adding my Ruby Kisses uh, RDF 11, the darkest shade in that palette, to this lace. Now we're going to position the wig on her head. Make sure that the wig hairline is in front of her cap line. So right now I'm just sewing the wig down. I did want to let you all know off camera I did dye the hair black and wash and condition the wig. However, you don't have to do that at all. Like I said, this wig comes pre-curl out the box, pre-bleached fully and pre-plucked to the T. I did not have to pluck this wig and I did not have to bleach the knots on this wig. I just dyed the hair black, you know, just personal choice, but you don't even have to do that. And it comes already curled, like, and you can wear this wig glueless like 10 out of 10 for sure. Right now, I'm just smoothing out her adhesive. I've already applied it in the shape of her hairline. Make sure that each layer turns clear before you apply the next. We did three layers today. Stay tuned. Her last layer has turned clear. Let's go ahead and lay that lace down. And if you didn't cut the ear tabs out beforehand, go ahead and do those right now before you tie that lace down. We're going to blow dry that lace for about one minute, interchange it between warm and cool air. And once we get done doing that, we're going to tie it down with our band for about 10 minutes. Our 10 minutes are up. Let's cut off that excess lace. Get into this pre-plucked hairline that Asteria Hair did for me before they even shipped the wig. Like, honey, shout out to Asteria Hair. I love the fact that wig companies are now starting to bleach the knots and pluck the wig for you. So when you get it, you don't have to do that. And they also styling them too, like, very convenient. This wig is giving straight up scalp, like 10 out of 10. Like, the proof is in the pudding. Look at your screen.
And I just want to show y'all up close on this hairline. Like, y'all, I am not lying. This lace in this hairline from Mysteria Hair, 10 out of 10, y'all. So today we'll be doing the middle part with Beach Waves. So right now I'm just taking my wax stick and we're just going to lay that hair down and make sure that part is perfectly in place. And we're just going to hot comb everything down. I'm gonna use my Eben spray and an edge brush to smooth back her hairline to give her that fresh perm look, no baby hair look, cause we're not doing any baby hairs today. Then I'm gonna take my Hair Flex hairspray to further melt that lace in. We're gonna spray that from a distance all over her hairline and then we're gonna tie that hair down, baby. So to do your beach waves, you're just gonna do a regular curl. I'm using my T3 1.25 inch curling iron. You're just gonna do a regular curl. You're gonna leave about three to four inches off the curling iron, like the ends. In school, in cosmetology school, we call them fish hooks. You're gonna do fish hooks on purpose. And then you're gonna twirl the hair off the iron and you're gonna spray it each time with some Sebastian Shaper Plus hairspray just to keep that wave in there and boom. That's how you do a beach wave. You basically do a curl, leave the ends out, and when you take it off the um, iron, make sure you twirl it off and you just spray it with hairspray. We're gonna curl everything away from the face.
We are done curling. As you can see, I took that band off and I did pin those two front curls just to make sure they are really defined. So now I'm taking those out and then I'm gonna hot comb everything in place the way I want it to lay. I'm also gonna be using my no bend hair clips just to make sure everything is in place the way I want it to lay once I finally comb everything out. To do her part today, I'll be using my Clara Root Touch Up Pen in black. We're just gonna do that to make sure we have a more defined part. Um, they bleached the knots perfectly for us, so you don't even have to do this, but we just wanted a more defined part. After we go in with this, we're gonna also use some powder in her part. And if you want to make it even more defined, you can take a rat tail comb and take you some black high beam hairspray and spray it right on that part too. As you and make sure you follow up that with some hairspray and that you blow dry on high. And once you get done with that, take those clips out and you can comb your curls out. And y'all, look at this hair. It's so luxurious. Yes, she's so beautiful. Let's get into that final look. Once again, I want to thank Asteria Hair for sending me this bun wig. Make sure you check the description box below for more information on how to purchase this same exact wig. Once again, happy 2024. We coming with the look. Bye, y'all.